This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I got my first COVID-19 vaccine on Saturday. It was both a long time in coming and startlingly soon. You know, if you've been watching these updates regularly, that 10 years ago, following treatment for lymphoma, I was diagnosed with common variable immunodeficiency. So basically, my immune system has a hard time producing antibodies. For the last half dozen years, it took us a while to figure out what was going on and how to treat it. I've had weekly infusions of immunoglobulin, one of the products of blood donation. This basically serves as an ongoing low-key immune system transplant and has kept me out of the hospital basically since I started that treatment. And despite that, or perhaps because of it, I am considered medically high risk with pretty much anything that involves an immune system. A few weeks ago, my immunologist called to tell me that Lancaster County was putting together a vaccination event for high risk and immunocompromised folks. And would I be interested? The short answer is yes. It, it was not a long conversation. And so that's how on Saturday, I ended up at St. Elizabeth's talking to some lovely volunteers and then getting an injection of the Pfizer vaccine. Now the shot was unremarkable. The side effects were about what I'd heard. Uh, I was a little rocky on Sunday and then slept for 11 hours and woke up just fine. In three weeks, I'll go back for my final dose and then two weeks after that, I will be fully vaccinated, at least as much as I am going to be. Because here's the thing, and why this is not a more celebratory update. The condition that I've been living with for the last six years is defined by the body's inability to produce antibodies. The way they confirm a, a CVID diagnosis is to find a vaccine that you haven't had before, in my case it was pneumonia, give it to you, and then two weeks later test your immune system to see if it's responded. If the response is not uh, robust is the term of art, then the diagnosis is confirmed. So the advice from my immunologist was straightforward. The vaccine is not going to hurt. It's not going to be harmful to me. It's not going to be any kind of problem. But also, uh, given my condition and, and the condition of, of folks like me, uh, we should not count on it as having the same kind of effect as it does in the general population. It might have some effect, but not the kind of efficacy that we see reported in the newspaper. Now, the reason I tell this story is threefold, and, and frankly, none of them are, are for pity. First, as we move towards reopening the church for in-person events, I'll likely be one of the last people still wearing a mask. Um, and taking precautions. And this isn't because I don't like you or don't want to spend time with you or don't want to get a hug. It's because I want to be here a long time and, and that means I have to be more careful. Second, I'm not the only person with a story like this in the congregation or that you pass on the street or that's in our community that you might know but not know their health history for. And, that's why it's really important that, that we all participate in public health. Get the vaccine for yourself. Yes, absolutely. Do that to keep yourself and your family safe. But also, do it to build herd immunity and pr protect folks like me, who can do everything right and still be at increased risk even after they've had the vaccine. And then the third reason is related to the second. The treatment for, for my diagnosis is weekly infusions of donated immunoglobulin. I've said this before, I've preached this before, but it bears repeating. We, we say, we talk about interconnection in Unitarian Universalism all the time. But for me, it's pretty literal. The big end point for me is not actually when I get vaccinated. It's when enough people who give blood get vaccinated 
that the infusions that I do every Sunday night start to have COVID-19 antibodies in them. As near as we can tell, that'll happen sometime in late 2021. So the moral of the story is this. Go get vaccinated. Do it for yourself, but also all the other people in your life. You don't always know who will benefit, but you can know that you are part of a deep web of interconnection. Have a great night, and I'll see you tomorrow.